am 49 years old and my wife is 48. We have been together for 20 years and have two children, a 16 year old boy and an 18 year old girl. I found out a few months ago that my wife had an affair with a man for a few months 15 years ago and was about to leave me for him. Then she got dumped by the man. So the only reason she stayed with me for the last 15 years was because I was plan B. The worst part of this whole thing was the horrific way in which I found out. We are very conservative and orthodox family. We grew up that way and I thought we have always been that way. Which is why this hit me like a ton of bricks. Four months ago, my son wanted to play a throwback video game because he always likes those old school PC games. I used to play those a lot when he was younger. So I had a lot of PC disc games. There was a particular game he was looking for. So I asked him to check in the garage. When he found the PC, for some reason, maybe nostalgia, maybe curiosity, he went searching through several files. He switched the PC on and got sidetracked and started searching the folder, going through memory lane. Most of the memory in the computer was wiped out. He restored the last saved memory on the computer, prompting the most recent deleted file to be restored. The PC has been sitting in the garage for more than 11 years now, so he found interesting pictures we took years back. Then he opened the downloaded folders and kept opening the pictures to see the content. That was when he found several lewd pictures of his mom and another man having excess. He was horrified by these disgusting pictures. He knew his mom was married when those pictures were taken. He didn't know how to approach me about it. So he decided to tell his older sister she was shocked as well. And together, they mustered the courage to come to me about it. A few days later, I was watching TV after work when my two children came to me and told me that they needed to tell me something. By their body language, I could tell that something wasn't right. So they got my full attention. My son started explaining to me how he went into the garage to find the PC game disc and then proceeded to restore deleted file on the computer. That was how he found multiple pictures of his mom having excess with another man. After they finished telling me the story, I didn't know where to begin. I was horrified, not just because my wife cheated on me, but because my son saw lewd pictures of his mom. I didn't know the extent of the affair, so I brought the PC to the dining table and powered it up to see the photos they were talking about. Words cannot explain how shocked I was. The lewd pictures were of my wife when she was younger. Looked like they were taken during the time my children were born. The lewd pictures were very graphic and plentiful. I counted 52 lewd pictures. There were pictures of her spreading and smiling like an adult actress. Why her affair partner plays the photographer. I couldn't believe that my son saw that. I tried to conduct a quick investigation before my wife came back home. I knew the passwords for her old email address. So I searched through her email address based on the date when the pictures were downloaded. But I couldn't find any communication between her and her fair partner. When my wife's car pulled into the driveway, I told my kids to stay in their bedroom because I didn't want them to witness the confrontation. As soon as my wife walked through the front door, I called her to come over to the dining table. I was hoping to catch her by surprise because I didn't know if the affair was still ongoing. As she approached the dining table, you could see the look of curiosity on her face. I watched her reaction as I scrolled through her and her lover's lewd pictures. Her reaction was to cover her mouth in shock. I made sure to tell her that my son and daughter found it and they kept it to themselves till they couldn't hold the guilt any longer. She started to cry as I confronted her about how long the affair had been going on. That was when she told me that it happened 15 years ago. I basically had to accuse her of cheating on me all through our relationship for her to admit that it was only with the guy in the photos. She only confessed because I caught her off guard. And get this, after he dumped her, she was depressed. And instead of coming clean to me, she went to my mother instead. And my mother got her into therapy. The therapist herself was a swinger in an open relationship. More on that later. So my mother uses her own money to pay for a therapist because they both had the same twisted idea of self-improvement, which doesn't involve telling me the truth. So here I am 
basically the last person to find out 15 years later that my wayward wife cheated on me. I guess she knew I would divorce her, which makes sense, I guess. You feel bad you did it, and what you don't know can't hurt you. She lied every day for 15 years, and on top of that, she conspired with my mother to keep her dirty secret. The betrayal is astronomical. She only came to my mother when the other guy broke it off, and my mother consoled her and hide the secret from me. I could get into the type of person my mother is, but I don't think it would be exactly kind in light of the new information and what I tolerated from her previously. She was remorseful, I guess, and she asked for forgiveness, though she hid it for so long, so it's a little too late. Can't anything cheaters do be authentic? She wanted us to talk about it to a therapist because she claimed that a therapist helped her through her affair. And wait till I tell you the type of weirdo therapist my mother got her. She was crying in the dining room after she confessed, begging me for forgiveness. She was surprised when I asked her to leave the house. I wasn't forcing her, but I couldn't stand her living in the same roof as me. She already traumatized my son when he found the disgusting pictures of her. So I'm not sure what she gains by staying in this marriage. After all, I was plan B. She also created a timeline, which is useless to me. I still read through it because I couldn't resist how she was told during the fraudulent therapy sessions to bear the burden herself and her reasons and family issues and whatever else. Basically a bunch of nonsense. I guess she had this already in her head in case it came out, which is evil. The question I asked her was, how I was going to be repaid for being held hostage for years. And of course, she had no answers. You can imagine how hurtful it is that not only my wife lied to me for 15 years, but my mom was also in on it as well. She paid the money out of her pocket to help my wife. You could also tell by the kind of therapist they picked. The therapist was in an open relationship, a Nepali or whatever. Basically, she had no business being a therapist and a swinger seemed like the worst person to talk to after committing an infidelity. Makes me wonder if my mom cheated since she had harlots in her back pockets ready to cause as much destruction as possible after a nuke already went off. The therapist my mother paid for her to go to happened to be a harlot in my opinion. Who told her what to do? Even if she went to a real one, she would just get told what to say anyways. How about telling them to confess to your husband? Honor your vows. Don't traumatize your children. Why didn't I think of any of that? So, this dumb swinger that calls herself a therapist told her to hide it. Okay, so you cheat. Then you cheat in a different way, spreading money in the process for the answers that anyone can figure out. Did my wife really need to spend money with a cherry on top of? Don't tell him. Imagine how you would feel if he cheated. Am I really expected to believe that? So my cheating wife gave my mom her confession Instead of my mom doing the right thing by telling me, she instead proceeded to deceiving me along with my wife. My mom is a reprobate loser, so yeah, that sounds right. I would test my children, but I look so much like them, it's unreal. And they have genetic traits I do as well. Plus, if I found out they weren't mine, I would probably self-delete myself. Not because it's their fault, and I hate them or something. But I just couldn't live with that. It would just be too much for me to handle and live with. To find out my entire life was a lie, instead of half of it, I would lose the will to live, like I said. The affair partner was not married at the time of the affair. He was just using my wayward wife for excess and finally dumped her when he was done with her. I looked him up, but he doesn't live where he used to and I can't find anything about him. After my wayward wife left the house, I called my mom and confronted her. She claimed that she was trying to keep the family together. I told her that she sacrificed my right to have a choice. I told her that she has lost all access to my family. I asked if her progressive lefty Christian bit was worth losing access to her son and grandchildren and for the rest of her life, which sounded harsh, but I received no response. So it must have worth it to be a martyr for someone like my wayward wife. I didn't choose to end my marriage. She made that decision 15 years ago when she cheated on me. I remained married in false pretense. Yeah, she did became a better person after the therapy. Minus the, you know, lying and keeping me hostage bit. Also, she became a better person after therapy, which is fake as hell. If you need therapy to tell you how to act with decency and empathy or anything else, you might just be an idiot 
who isn't worth anything at all to anybody. I mean, I just can't understand it. Do you need someone to teach you how to breathe too? I'm not really articulating this well, but my point is my wife is fake, even though her improvements are real. Really goes to show how rotten my wife must have been if a woman whose only purpose in life is to bang dudes and burn whatever gave her advice on how to be a better person. What sucks is the cheater will always be okay in the end, no matter if they stay together or divorce, while the good spouse is in pain. Take every wayward's past, present, and future, remorseful or not, and their pain combined is about 0.1% of a good spouse. I hired a lawyer, and I'm going to have her served pretty soon. I guess her swinger therapist is fired all these years later because her advice didn't work. The streets are always hiring, so she will be fine. Well, the divorce laws suck. I remain married under false pretense. All of what I earned since her affair should be mine. I know divorce laws were made by adulterers, but it's still unfair to me. Spoke to my lawyer and he was telling me how many assets I have to give up in my divorce. And I'm pissed. Imagine you divorce a cheater and they go on to get remarried. LOL. With your money. It's a joke. Any harlot or pig who does that is a scum who deserve the ropes. I was robbed of many years of my life. I should never ever have to pay or give up anything. Also, just because it's a law doesn't mean it's good. Like no fault divorce. You know, you used to be allowed to keep people as slaves and it was a perfectly legal right and you were allowed to go after them and kill them until the 60s. Perfectly legal. Doesn't mean it's good. Oh, I know. I'm just saying it's unfair. And if my wife was truly remorseful, she should give me whatever I want, especially because she wouldn't be needing a lot of money. She's still staying in the house after I told her to leave. Another long day of being haunted and harassed in my own home. My reasoning was this. Since the kid wants to stay with me and are upset and traumatized by the whole situation, how would it look if you were unfair in the divorce? Bad, at least. She got that right. Marriage was a lot better after her affair therapy, which makes it worse. Kids are also nearly adults. I don't know what the idiots are gonna do when my kids just leave and come to my house on her days. Laugh trying to accuse me, of course. But besides that, I am at your door today because your kids decided to leave your rotten ex-wife's house. Sure, she may snap at any moment or show your son some inappropriate pictures again. But that's the law. Surrender your kids to the states or else. I don't want to be immaterial at any time. After I filed for divorce, I went to my pastor to talk to him about it. My pastor is an expert on infidelity and he backed me up on my decision. I don't need a therapist to tell me it's my fault or my wife was sad or sick or something. After seeing what her swinger holler therapist told her, I would rather not. It's not like I'm turning the kids against her. They said no matter what, they will come to stay with me. I did mention to them though that if I had to pay out, then we would all know she was lying to us all about being sorry. Which is true. It's that it was 15 years of being lied to. 15 years of my life was stolen from me. If she cheated a month ago and I found out today, I would be okay with splitting or whatever else. She should be grateful that's all I'm asking for. She refused to sign the divorce paper and doesn't want to talk about the divorce, saying that she wants to keep the family together and I want to break it apart. Since she was being so unhelpful, and wanted to cause the family more harm by being unwilling to talk about the divorce. We are going to let the kids make the decision on who they want to stay with. I have just been honest and I am not going to lie to them or withhold information from them that they would need to know. There are things I haven't told them because it wouldn't help them. They know which side is the right side. They can decide for themselves how to react since they are nearly adults. But I am still not going to hide things from them. Well. She finally moved out when she realized that the kids don't want to speak with her. Even though she's remorseful and has gone through therapy, the affair seemed old to her and it might not make sense to her that we are angry at her. But to me, the betrayal is fresh. It may take her a while to understand that our marriage is over, but in time she will come around. I am moving on with the divorce, with or without her. She had lied, deceived and betrayed me in 15 out of the 20 year marriage. Basically, the entire marriage has been a lie. The only thing that came out of it are my kids, and they have chosen the right side. As for my mother, she's dead to me. It may sound harsh, 
but I would never speak to her for the rest of her life. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button for YouTube algorithm to promote this video. Thank you and have a wonderful day.